New Year's Eve was popping and first I thought it wasn't popping in a good way but then I thought about it and I think it is a good way and I've sh shifted my perspective on it. This last month has been absolutely crazy. I suffered attack after attack after attack after attack. You know, I'm gonna tell you all about it. So last month during yoga, I was doing this pose and I just felt my third chakra pop all open. And I wasn't expecting that because I read from another yogi that during this exercise, she, um, her heart chakra, popped open so that's what i was expecting that's what i was waiting for so i was really surprised that my third chakra popped open it's not like anybody had any doubt about the size and the openness of my third chakra please like let's not pretend i didn't have a personality before or boundaries or yeah the boundaries are the issue still aren't they mm. So always, 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 when you have such a big reaction in the energy system, when you really feel something like pop all the way open, and it's, you feel it physically, you feel that it is not something to do with any organ, you feel that it's really a part of your energy system, and it, when it's that intense, you know a very big growth and development process starts and we're talking months here maybe even longer so i suffered attack after attack after attack after attack after attack the entire month like almost every interaction i have with a person seemed to be an attack so after two of these attacks i'm like wait is this my fault like, I'm the common denominator in these situations. Like, isn't it my fault? But I did analyzing, I discussed it with others, I meditated on it. And I learned this is definitely not me. I was in a tech store where the person refused to help me. I went to get my hair cut. The salon owner screaming at me at the top of her lungs in the middle of the salon. You break something of mine and then you get mad at me no that's not a thing and it just kept happening and but of course always if these things happen and especially when there's so many of them back to back to back it tells you something from the first two experiences i really didn't have a takeaway except that I always want to give people another chance and that's so ridiculous i think that's that stems from a feeling when I was younger, I felt I wasn't giving chances, which led to, you know, my massive, massive traumas. So I always feel like even though somebody completely loses it on somebody else, like they deserve another chance and maybe they had a bad day and you don't know where they were coming from. But sometimes you just have to say, that's what I'm learning now, you know, if people so disgustingly misbehave based on nothing, absolutely nothing, then it's their fault. We're not going to do business with these people anymore. Like, I always thought, like, it's called complex post-traumatic stress disorder. It's not like easy breezy post-traumatic stress disorder it's complex so you start feeling like everything was always very complex and the more i've learned and experienced and you know process my emotions i feel like situations weren't complex at all and that i see that again in these situations from last month like what it couldn't be more obvious that these people are wrong i didn't do anything so why are you keep giving these people chances that thing in the tech store it was the third time i was in a tech store and had a shitty experience yeah. like stop going to it stop stop so my deepest issue in my ego in my third chakra is not being worthy and that's a feeling that i've carried with me for a really long time that's the that's where my my will 
broke, where my personality broke because I, I didn't feel worthy. That's directly connected to my traumas. And I've been aware of that ever since, well, ever since the traumas resurfaced. So, but I've never been able to get that deep to work on it. And you work on it in layers. So yeah, you work on it all the time, but you feel like I'm not getting true to the core. And I knew when this, this all popped open, I knew exactly what it was. I knew it was that, but I didn't knew what was all related to that. And actually now I'm talking to you, I'm getting more clarity and I see it's really the boundary issue because the third chakra is also your desire and your resistance in the world and also how far you take that. And that is directly where your boundaries are formed on the deepest level. So boundaries are incredibly important uh, aspect of the ego and the third chakra. So how did it all turn around yesterday after things popped off. So it was actually before that, but I got, I was, I got home. I was so happy. Everything went right. I got, I'm not allowed to tell this, but I got a free item that was very important to me in one of my favorite stores. And I made a big fuss about it. I didn't make a big fuss, but we jokingly said that, but it was like, I'll die without this, I'll die. And then they found some in the back and I got it for free. So I was like super happy about it. And then I went to my favorite chocolate shop and there I got free items as well. So I was like so happy. I'm like, what's happening? Like instead of all these attacks, I'm it's abundance. It's abundance. Finally, a uh, abundance of good things and not an abundance of attacks and misery, which I have been going through for the last 13 years. Can we finally get a good year? Please, please. I need a good year. So, you know, there are more good things happening than bad things and I have to focus on the good thing. I have a lot better uh, perspective now on who I will be working with and who I will be friends with in the future. And I'm looking very much forward to this year of 2022. Yay! It always can get worse, but we're gonna assume that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Happy New Year's!